What inclusion means. Perspectives of people with disability. Hello, I'm Eva and I have an acquired brain injury. What is an acquired brain injury? ABI. ABI is an abbreviation for the term acquired brain injury. This refers to any damage that's been sustained to a person's brain after their birth. Another term that is commonly used, especially if there's a blow to the head, is traumatic brain injury or TBI. How is a person affected by ABI? There are so many ways a person is affected, so you have to understand the brain basically controls everything. Everything that can be seen and unseen. And every injury is different, so answering this question is really difficult. But there can be changes to the way a person functions, behaves, thinks, speaks and moves. This makes brain injury uncomfortable, not only for the person who sustained it, but also for the people that surround that person. Change is something frightening to many people and this can isolate the injured person. Friends and family can remove themselves from the person's life, which is extremely distressing for them because they may not understand why. Due to damage sustained, a person might lose the capacity they had before and require long periods of rehabilitation. This means they may not be able to work in their job, maybe ever again, like me. I used to be a dancer. <laughs> Um, it's important to remember the brain heals itself in many cases, but how long this takes is impossible to predict. How does it feel to acquire a brain injury? Acquiring a brain injury is the most far-reaching thing that can happen to someone. Well, that's what I, that's what I think after, after living with this for so long. It really affects everything it means to be human. I like to see it as though I was born again, and I even celebrate the date of the, of the injury as a second birthday. It's my rebirth day. I was reborn. And like a baby, I had to learn everything all over again. I had to learn how to walk, how to talk, how I ran, swam, moved, behaved, conversed. I had to learn how to, I had to, learn how to carry out a conversation again. And even though I've had a brain injury for longer than I didn't have one, I'm still developing myself. And this can be extremely frustrating for myself and those around me, but I've learned to be excited about it too. Imagine, I'm gonna be learning for the rest of my life. And one of my main mottos is onwards and upwards, and this is the way I live. What are cognitive problems? Cognitive problems are related to the way the brain and the mind work. The way a person thinks or processes information is something personal to the person. But how this is expressed, the way someone speaks or behaves is what others sees. And another thing that is a cognitive problem is memory. And memory is really, really affected by an acquired brain injury. What are neuromotor problems? They're very familiar to me because this is the way someone moves and my, the way I move has been affected majorly by this accident. So it affects the way someone moves, the way they stand, the way they deal with things like writing, I had to learn to write again, or using their coordination, which is something that is very dear to me because I used to be a dancer. Used to be a dancer. <laughs> this also refers to conditions like seizures that can start after an injury. If I know someone with an ABI, how can I help them? This is an easy question to answer. Ask the person, only they know what they need. And again, everybody is different. Every injury is different. Accepting the situation is a difficult thing for everyone involved. And what the person needs might change from day to day or from situation to situation. It's actually your responsibility to know the injury has changed a person's very sense of self. So be kind, be soft. And if the injured person is not in a state to answer you, ask the people who surround the person, family or hospital staff, and a way forward can usually be found. I don't recognize the person I knew before the injury. Will they come back? This is a huge question that people around the injured person will undoubtedly ask. And from my own experience, I will say the person is still there, but they're still learning how to be again. Time undoubtedly will help the person reclaim parts of their personality, but some parts might disappear forever. It's really up to you to practice acceptance. How do I deal with the reactivity and behaviours of the ABI? 
Well, behaviours can change and personalities change too. By remembering the person has been injured, you can practice compassion, especially if the person acts in a way that confronts you. Anger and aggression can be common, especially if the frontal lobes have been affected, because this is the area of the brain where impulses are kind of controlled. For myself, I've been challenged greatly by this because I sustain damage to the frontal lobes extending onto the right side of my brain. Communication changes often as well. They might speak about inappropriate things or not pick up common social cues. This is something else I've struggled with sometimes. <laughs> you can help by taking the person aside and calmly explaining their actions are not appropriate or what they say is not appropriate. Being prepared to help them is a kind and humane thing to do and I would hope that you would do this. What happens if society at large doesn't include people? Look around, look around yourself, look around at the present Australian society because this is what happens when disabled people are not included in everyday life. This translates into non-disabled people often being uncomfortable or even afraid when they're faced with disabled people. We're some of the most resilient, dedicated and inventive members of society as it is part of our lives to be so. It's how we can function in a world that locks us out. <laughs> Something pretty horrible is that Australia is the second last country in the OECD for inclusion of disabled people. This is something to be ashamed of, but it seems to be changing these days. How does an organisation accommodate an employee or volunteer with an ABI? Once again, by asking the person, everyone's brain injury is different everyone's brain injury affects them differently. Also, you can familiarize yourself with the 10 top tips listed on the Voice at the Table website. This organization champions inclusion of those with cognitive disabilities in decision-making and policy-making, and also in the workplace. And there's so much information freely available on the site, so check out the link below. To learn more, visit www.daru.org.au.